Hi, Dontre says he's here to have a second chance at being a family man. Dontre, what's going on? Well, I'm here today because uh, I've been dating this girl named Abby for seven months. Yes. And, uh, you know, we met on social media, Facebook. Yes. We've been talking for like three hours on the phone and uh, on Mackie, like she fell in love with me, you know? Yeah. Because uh, uh, I was actually in uh, Fargo, North Dakota at the time, and she was in St. Louis, Missouri, where I'm from. Yeah. Actually. And uh, she pretty much, uh, she took a car 12 hours away, you know, just to be with me. Oh, okay. So Yeah. And um, I'm here today to tell her that I don't want to be with her anymore. You don't want to be with Abby anymore, your girlfriend. Why? Because uh, I want to work things out with my baby mom and be a father. Oh. So there's another woman you have a child with. Yep. Oh, I see. And you, uh, how long had you been with her? Uh, I've been with her for a year when we, you know, finally broke things off. I met her two years ago. Yeah. Actually, on Facebook as well. Yeah. Um, I, I felt for this girl like like so hard that uh, I sold my car just to just to be with her because I was living in Missouri at the time. Yeah. And uh, she was in Fargo, North Dakota. And they don't permit cars there. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why did you sell your car? Uh, so I can have funds to. Uh, oh, go, so you, you wanted the money. To, to go out of town. Her. Yep. Yeah. I, so I, I took a Greyhound 12 hours yeah. uh, just to be with her. And then how soon after you met her and say, wow, this is the one, did you uh, get her pregnant? Uh, it was uh, uh, three months after I went out there and, yeah. and uh, she told me she was pregnant. I cried because I, I, I always wanted to be, you know, a, a father. Yes. Because you know, I grew up without a father figure, you know. Oh, so, so you were as happy as could be. Yep. Yep. So then what, why'd you leave her then? What happened? Uh, well, she started to get distant oh. and stuff. Uh, she wouldn't let me uh, go to the gender reveal. Uh, she wouldn't, you know what I mean? I even missed out on his umbilical cord cutting. Well, well why? She, she didn't think the, the kid was mine at first. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and um... So then the crying, then the crying really started, huh? <laughs> No, okay, so she tells you she's pregnant. You uh -huh. right away assume it's yours, and she tells you right then it may not be yours? Yeah, because she said mm -hmm. apparently we were on a break and that she, you know, uh, uh, had uh, uh, sex with another guy yeah. we on a break. But yeah. then when, when my son was born and stuff, yeah. uh, that's why she said because he looked at like, because my, my baby mom's Mexican and yeah. stuff, so uh, the baby looked at like super white, but then we got it older and stuff, he started looking like, you know what I mean? Darker, yeah, and he, you know, what I mean, got the curly hair and stuff like that. Oh, that's and right. It says here you're black. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, right what an adorable yeah. child. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now she says, "Come." Is she now saying that you are the father? Yeah. Yeah. Now she's saying I am the father and stuff, but. Do you know, are you really, I mean, not to sound like Maury, but are you the father? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm for sure. I, yes, you really I, are. Okay, yes. you had that all checked out and everything. Okay. Yes. So you're, that's your child now. Yep, but like, she, she broke things off of me because I guess she wasn't like ready for, you know, a serious relationship and all that. So I tried moving on and that's when Abby come in the picture. Okay. But here you're on the show, you tell me, because you now want to break up with Abby. Yep. To be with your baby's mother. And be a family. And be a family. Yep. Is she okay with that? Not Abby. Is the mother of the child okay with that? Well, that's another thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, two weeks ago, me and Abby got into an argument. Yes. And um, I told her I was going to a friend house. But you didn't go to a friend house, you went to the baby mother's house. Yep. And we had a couple of drinks oh. that night, and we had sex. Oh. Yeah. And now you're having another child. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sure. no. I just made that up. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. So you did have sex, and that makes you think that she maybe wants to be back. Did she say when you were down there with her that, gee, why don't we get back together again? Yeah, we actually talked about it and stuff. And uh, she said? She said that... Like, yes, yeah, she would work, work things out with me because she did miss me and everything, and that she would want to work things out, you know what I mean? Not just for me, but for our kid, kid as, as well. well. So I just want to tell Abby. So now you're telling Abby, I'm going back to where I should be. 
There you go. Yeah. Okay. She's not watching. She's coming out. Here is your current girlfriend, Abby. Yeah. I'm good. Good. You know I love you, right? Yeah. And I care about you a lot? Yes. Well, uh, I have something I gotta tell you. Okay. Well, you remember two weeks ago when we got in that big fight and mm -hmm. I told you I was going to a friend's house to cool down? Mm-hmm. Well, I was really at my baby mom's house mm -hmm. and we had sex. You had sex with her? Yeah. After everything that we've been through? I know. I know, yeah. But, you know, I just, you know, I just want to... You just what? What explanation is there for this? You cheated on me! I didn't cheat on you! I've done so much for you! I've dealt with you for so long! All the hatred, all the back talking, all the ignorance. I went out of my way, and I bought you a car. Not only did I buy you a car... Is that the car you sold? No. No. Not only did I buy you a car, I handed you $200 with that car. And I told you, here's $100 for gas money. You won't run out of gas. Here's another $100. Go get yourself something nice to eat when you're on break at work. All this stuff... A car and $200? I moved back. So where your family was, because your got sick. So what I do, I respected you. You wanted to be happy, so I did that. How old are you? I'm 18. Oh. How, how 18 old? years old. And I took a big risk of my life to be with sure. you. And how old are you? I took 22. a big risk. You're 22. To be with someone who I thought loved me. Someone who thought really cared about me. And now I see you're like everybody else. Everybody else. But this, this is the thing, though. I didn't tell you to do all that for me. I didn't tell you to, you know, spend all this money on me. I didn't tell you but to buy me a car. But I did it out of my heart because I love you, because you were my boyfriend. I thought we were going to get married. See, I thought on our anniversary, you were going to put a big old rock on my finger. No, see, this, 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 this. We were no. supposed to get married on a beach in Florida. We have, we had plans to have three children together. He's, okay, he's selling his car. How, how big do you think that rock could be? It better be real big. See, but. I moved back out here so that you could be with your children. And you could be with your child. <laughs> and you want to just cheat? Like it's nothing? Like I'm nothing? Like what we had was nothing at all? It's all a lie, wasn't it? You never loved me. Because if you loved me for the slightest second, you never would have cheated. Okay. Uh, have you had... Other boyfriends, like for an extended period of time before? Yes. Yeah. So, this, what made this relationship special? What made you think this was the guy? Well, I fell in love with him. Yeah. I met him online. We yeah. talked for three hours. Yeah. His voice it. made me fall in love. <laughs> Everything he said, he told me I was beautiful. He told me that he wanted to help me financially. He told me he had his own house, was his own was... car. He lived on his own. And when I pull up, I drove 13 hours to be with you. And I pull up, and you're in another woman's crib, living with another woman. Okay, wouldn't that tell you that maybe this isn't the right thing to do? You know, I thought about that. I did, and I told him I wanted to go, and he begged me to stay. He told me he would change, he'd get his own car, he'd get his own place, not be living with another woman. But this is the thing, though, like, like, you're always, like, you're, you're so immature. Immature. Like, you're, and, and you're so, like... Immature. Yeah, and you're so snobby. Like, all, all you want is my money. Oh. All I want is your money. Yes. For the first five months of our relationship, who was coming in with the income? Who came down with $6,000? You didn't have a damn penny to your name. Oh. I paid the bill. I fed you. I clothed you. I loved you. I thought you loved me. I did. But I guess I thought wrong. 
I, I did, but I you just, did. You, you didn't. Just, you did it. I ain't gonna even lie. You were just a rebound. A rebound. Oh. A rebound. Oh. So what is this? That's what rebounds do. They get tattoos together. Cause you know this is here forever. Yeah, I can cover it up. Cover it up with what? Okay. What did, what did your parents say to you when you said, uh, I've got this guy, he talked to me for three hours on the, uh, on I love him. They told me I was crazy. Yeah. Well. I should have listened to them. Yeah. And it's not. Okay. It's not that you're crazy, but it's, you're 18. Mm hmm And all of a sudden you're thinking at 18, this is the love of my life because someone talks to you for three hours on the phone, you got to step back and say, what? That's not love. I thought he it's was a, different. Well, I never fell for you, someone like that. You hoped he was different. You hoped he was different. You hoped that what he was telling you was the truth because all of a sudden that sounded really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and that's attractive, but that isn't love. You got to know someone before you love them. But you don't know them. With your kid, a child that for eleven you came, years, you eleven came, you months, for three eleven hours, eleven months, eleven times, you and you were telling me for three hours. You're the dumb little bitch. Didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, you told him that that wasn't even his kid. Okay, we're gonna need extra security up here. <laughs> okay, from her point of view, from her, from her point of view, I know you're hurt by this, but you, it can't be surprising that the mother of the child at some point would like the father back in her life. Mm. And he's an adult, so he makes a decision. He was already back in her life. But maybe he I wants spent five hundred dollars on bus tickets so that they could have a little family. I could be a total jerk. I could be a jerk and say, you know what? You're not going to see your kid. You're not allowed to see him, and you will not talk to her either. I could do that, but I'm not. A oh. I'm respectful. How many, for me if you want to okay. you know sleep in how bed with him. How many children are involved? How many kids do you have? I, I have five children. You have five children. Oh! Okay. Four different okay. baby daddies. Oh! Okay. But I just want to know why you did it. I confronted you and I asked. You know when I drove by the house. Why should I have to tell you? Why should I have to tell you? Who are you to me? I thought we were best friends. Isn't that what uh, a best friend does? No. You tell the truth. Well, I really don't like you. Okay. The only reason I was friends with you because so of him. For four that months, was the only reason. For four months. Because you were going to be around my kids. What okay. do you want to say to him? Well, yeah. I don't, I, I mean, it's been fun, you know, everything we did, whatever. But I just don't see us working out as... <laughs> You're gonna do me like that? Yeah. After everything I've done for you? After yeah. everything she's yeah. done for you? You're in a relationship. Who took care of your kids? I help you took care of your kids. You know what I mean? I help make sure they went to school every day. You know what I mean? I don't wanna help you pay your bills even though I won't even stand there. And you gonna do me like that? Seriously? Why are you trying to That's fight for think. a slob? <laughs> terms with her and respected it and you're still trying to sit and fight for her look at her look at me what are you saying this what are you saying this 
I see. I, I think birthday cake and some fried chicken. <laughs> I see a family with her. A family? Yes, I see a family with what her. What happened to the family? We were supposed to start. I just, I just, I, I don't get it because I don't know why you don't want to be me. She doesn't want you. Look at her. She I, doesn't want you. I don't know why you don't want to be me because other guys don't even want to take care of their kids. Maybe because other, you're going to go cheat on true. her with me. Other, uh, other guys just want to, you know, have sex with a female and leave. That's it. Me, I actually want to, you know, take care of my yeah. son, step to the plate That's and take true. care of my son. That's true. Come on now. I want to be a father. I want to step up to the plate and take care of my son. And you still took that from me. I have, I have no I feelings. I missed out on my son for 11 months. Why? 11 months I missed out on my son. Why did you he tell him he wasn't the father? Hold on. Why did you tell him he wasn't the father when in fact he was? Just because I was mad. I don't know at that moment. Just, you know, I had you a lot of stuff. You understand how he feels. Yes. He's a father to a child. You tell him he's not the father. It breaks his heart. Yeah. And now he's in a position to want to raise the child yes i understand that are you just... saying he can take the child and raise him no i mean he can still be around he can still come and see him you know what, so you but can... i don't want to be with him i don't see i don't see any any relationship with him beyond being the dad okay do you want to be with her no i don't you don't want to be with me no, I don't. so everything's been a lie seven months You're just... that i've been dealing with you that I've been helping you through everything. Is, like, you were crying just, in my lap. Like, you were crying in my lap over this. Like you're, you're just, you're just, you're just snobby. Like snobby? every time, every time. I wouldn't have to be snobby uh, if you knew how to keep your uh, in your pants. Like every, 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 every time, every time we're at the mall. You host the show. You're good. <laughs> every time we're at the mall and stuff, and. You, you want to dress and stuff, and you and don't get it for you. You get all mad at me and start having a bitch fit. Don't you, like, want, don't you want your girlfriend to be beautiful? Yeah, but, yeah, but. You know, I, so, I, surely, but I, I surely wouldn't want to run around looking like that. Yeah, but all you do, all you do, I just feel like that you just want me for my money. And like, I don't deserve you that. Like, actually, all, you, all you do, all you do Again. is, all you do is, all you do is drink. A lot, like, you sit on your ass all day, you don't work, like, you don't do none of that. I'm the one paying the bills and stuff in the house five and months, working and stuff. You're not doing months, anything. Five months, I paid the bill. We've been together for seven months. That's two months on you. Five months, I paid the bills. I fed you. I clothed you. I took you around. I bought you And cars. you're still with him. Yep. Yeah, you're So here's what's gonna happen. You're saying you don't want him back, and you're saying you don't want to be with her. No. So to, every, go ahead. To be honest, Jerry, I just, I'm just, I don't want none of them. I'm just gonna be single and still take care of my son. You know what I mean? Because, like I said before, mo most guys I heard don't want nothing to do with the kids. You know what I mean? And you for, will take care of your son. Yes. For me to ask you come out here to say that, I want to take care of my son. We'll be back. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.